What is going on, Washington fans? What's good, Washington fans? So this is a big game for us. Big game. Undefeated Steelers. Uh, Got to go to Pittsburgh. Um, it feels like we haven't played in a long time. We haven't played since Thanksgiving. Um, it, it feels like a long time. And I, I don't like these long layoffs for us. You know, we did not play well coming out of the bye. Uh, Ron Rivera, his record coming out, of, coming out of a bye week has not been good. Um, and I know it's not a bye, but it just feels like a bye because we haven't played since Thursday. We're playing on a Monday, uh, Monday evening football, not Monday night football. And then also, if you are a Washington football fan and you don't live in the area, this is not a nationally televised game. This game is only going to be shown on Fox in the DMV. I know there's other ways to watch the games and stream the games, but you know, if you think it's a national televised game, it's not a national televised game. The game is F5 on Fox, not on NBC, not on ABC, or CBS. It's on Fox 5 at 5 p.m. Um, and this could, this could be a trap game. This could be a trap game for the Steelers. It really could. This could be a game that they overlook us, and they play the Bills after us, I think, which is, of course, a bigger game. Um, but, you know, th this could be a trap game. This could be a trap game. Um, the Steelers are, are seven-point favorites. They started out 11-point favorites, but now they're down to seven-point favorites. So they have some guys out. Marquise Pouncey is going to be out on the uh, virus list. James Conner on the virus list. Um, Bud Dupree out with a torn ACL. So some of the injuries and, and some of the guys being out is going to work in our favor. Um, I, don't, I don't, you know, try to, you know, be happy guys are out, but this, it's going to help. Bud Dupree being out is going to be a huge help. Some of our guys are coming back healthy. DeShazer Everett should be available. Cornelius Lucas is going to be available. So Morgan Moses can move right back to right tackle. And Cornelius Lucas was doing a heck of a job at left tackle when he was playing. So I'm, I'm excited to see him back. Uh, shout out to David Sharp for holding it down in the Dallas game. We, we got to continue with this run game. We have to continue with this run game. My keys to victory for this is is it's simple it's simple let's not make this hard let's not make this tougher than what it has to be i think we finally have an identity and i think we were looking for an identity i think i know game one when we played the eagles we had eight sacks against carson we uh forced carson to two interceptions and multiple fumbles and you know kept kept taking the ball away from the eagles kept taking the ball away from carson um our identity was pass rush and you know just rely on our defense i think our offensive game has really picked up and i think our identity is running the football it's running the football with Antonio Gibson, sprinkling a McKissick, catching out of the backfield, and Peyton Barber, sprinkling a little bit of Peyton Barber here and there. But I think we finally have an identity on offense. Again, the Baltimore McLaurin, Logan Thomas, switching it up whatnot, and whatnot. I just don't think we really had an identity in the beginning of the season, which is fine. It was the first couple of games, but now we really know what we are, and we know where we can be successful at. And I know it's not easy to run the ball all the time, but I think giving the ball to Gibson – if we keep this formula that we did, that we did against Dallas, and I know the Steelers' defense is a totally 100% different animal than Dallas's defense, which is historically bad in the NFL. If we can just run the football, punch them in the mouth, and get started with that, take advantage of some of their guys being out. On the defensive side, the Stephon Tewitt, he's a, he's a big piece for the Steelers as well. You see what the Ravens did against the Steelers with RG3, not Lamar Jackson, but with RG3. They were able to run the football against them. Um, the four that are out of their last five games, shout out to them on the fourth path, they have given up um, so far. They've given up over 129 yards on the ground on the four of their last five games. So the, the Steelers have been vulnerable. Um, their run defense has been very vulnerable, very, very vulnerable. So I think we've got to take advantage of that, run the football, sprinkle in some McKissick with that. Uh, Antonio Gibson, keep it going. He, he's hot right now. Shout out to Antonio Gibson. He's rookie of the week. Uh, after the Dallas game, so shout out to him. Keep keep going with him. Win the turnover battle once again, and that's that's the key every week. We always always have to win the turnover battle. All the games that we won, we won the turnover battle. All the all the games that we won, we've been able to run the football. It's a Cowboys game, two hundred something rushing yards in that first game. Uh, Antonio Gibson had a great day on Thanksgiving. The game against the uh, Bengals, Antonio Gibson had a good game. So running the football and winning the turnover battle, we have to force. We have to force a turnover. We have to make something happen. We have to make something shake. We gotta force a turnover. Make we gotta make Big Ben throw the ball away, hit him, get a sack, something, make him fumble. I know it's not it's easier said than done. We gotta force a turnover. Special teams, some punch the ball out. I saw their their kick returner muff the punt, fumble the punt against the Ravens. Maybe we can get some good luck like that. But we gotta win the turnover battle. We gotta force a turnover. 
force interception, force a fumble. We cannot turn over the We got to catch everything. No more muff punts. I say this every video. Dustin Hopkins makes his kicks. No turnovers. No turnovers. No turnovers. So run the football. Win the win the turnover battle. Pressure the quarterback. Pressure pressure Big Ben. We got to protect our own quarterback, of course, with Alex Smith. Quick hitters. Get the ball out quick. Alex Smith does that all the time. Get the ball out quick. I like our matchup with Terry McGowan against their corners. I like Mick, Mick Fitzpatrick as a dog. He's a good free safety. Good strong safety. He can play everywhere in, on the field. Joe Hayden is a good good cornerback as well. But I like. I still think Terry McMullen. I still don't see any of those guys stopping Terry. I don't see it happen. I don't see any of those guys stopping score McMullen. Get the ball out quick. Logan Thomas has played better. If we got to do, if we do a trick play here and there, I'm not mad at that. I like that with Scott. I know they know it's coming, but we have nothing to lose. If they want to do another trick play with Logan throwing the ball downfield, so be it. I don't know if the annexation of Puerto Rico is going to work this time because they know it's coming. But see what we can do with Logan Thomas. Let's make him a versatile player. Wildcat once again, maybe third and one, running for the first down, something like that. switch it up. You know, be creative with it. I like the creativity from Scott Turner. I like the confidence that I'm seeing from Scott Turner. Get the ball to Terry McLaurin. Get the ball to Steve Sims. Get the ball to Cam Sims. I want to see them get involved. Alex Smith has done a good job of getting some guys involved. I don't know if he's going to throw the ball downfield, but we can definitely get some quick hitters to uh, Steve, Terry, Logan. Get all those guys involved. Jaden McKissick matchups against their linebackers. I like the matchup. I do remember I saw TJ Watt was guarding Hollywood Brown in the Ravens game, and he got beat, but RG3 overthrew Hollywood Brown. I definitely can see a scenario where your uh, J.D. McKissick could get open or Antonio Gibson could get open, a linebacker against him. Use our running backs in, in the passing game as well. That's what Scott Turner you know, said he was going to do in, this, in, the, in the preseason or before the season started. I want to see that happen in this game. So exploit those matchups right there. Dustin Hobbs is going to have to make some kicks. Pass rush is going to have to get there. We are second in the NFL with 36 sacks on the year. Um, the Steelers are leading the NFL with 41 sacks on a year. Now, the thing, we got to stop the run. We got to stop their run game. That's another big key. The Steelers, their run offense this year is ranked 25th with 99.1 yards per game. So if we make them one-dimensional and get to Big Ben, that's where we can stay in the ball game. And who knows what's going to happen in that fourth quarter. We can go into the fourth quarter either tied or only down by one score who knows what ha what can happen? Who knows what can happen? But Benny Snell, the Snell guy, he he's 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 good. He's good. I'm not I'm not gonna take him. He's good. It's filling in for James Conner. He's been pretty good. So we gotta stop the run. They haven't been able to run the football effectively for the most part this year. Like I said, they're they're ranked 25th running the football. You know that's that's one of the that's one of their downfalls. Total offense is 22nd in the league. Um, sacks allowed their first with only 10 because Ben gets the ball out so quickly. So be, we're gonna we're gonna have to be ready for those quick hitters from from Ben. He gets the ball really quickly. Now they the the Steelers had a problem dropping the football against the Ravens. They've had some problems with drops. Deontay Johnson had some drops. Uh, Chase Claypool had some drops. Um, James Washington is pretty good. Juju Smith Schuster, of course, we know that. Ronald Darby, you know, if he if he gets beat one time, we gotta help him. We cannot let that Amari Cooper thing happen again, where he kept getting beat deep. Gotta have somebody to help Ronald Darby. Um, Kendall Fuller has been doing a great job. Uh, DeShazer efforts got to step up and make some big hits. He got to he's got to make some big hits. He, he's got to he's got to bring the juice. He's got to bring the juice like he does. You know he's not scared to hit guys. You know he he makes he makes guys scared coming across the middle. Um, Cameron Curl, keep wrapping up, keep doing your thing, keep tackling. Got got to wrap up like you always do. Keep playing big. Cameron Curl has exceeded expectations. He's been a steal, a seventh round gym. Keep doing your thing. Cole Holcomb, keep doing your thing. Montez Sweat, I need a sack from you. Chase Young, Ryan Kerrigan, step up. Montez Sweat, um, John Allen, Deron Payne, stop at a run. And uh, Tim Settle, big Tim I want to see a penguin dance from Tim Settle. I want to see a penguin dance. I want to see him get back there and get another sack. He has five sacks on the year. Montez Sweat has six sacks. TJ Watt has 11 sacks. So I'm looking at the matchup with Morgan Moses versus TJ Watt. Um, the guy filling in from but for Bud Dupree, I think it's Cameron uh, Hayward or something like that. So Cornelius Lucas will be guarding him, or they might be, you know, having TJ Watt line up on multiple sides on both sides, switching him around. So um, the Steelers, they're 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 good across the board. They're good across the board <laughs> defensively. Um, their third down defense is really good. Sixth in the league passing. Pat, their passing defense is first. Our passing defense is ranked second with yards per game. Uh, their rushing defense is pretty darn good with eighth. Third down defense is good, eighth. 
time of possession, they're second. Their turnover differential is first. So we, we just have to win the turnover battle. We have to win the turnover battle. Another interesting stat is that our Washington, our run block win rate is third in the league. So we've been doing good with, with run blocking. Morgan Moses, Brandon Sheriff, all the guys up front. Uh, Lucas, all those guys have been doing a good job. Even David Sharp has been doing a good job. Um, so yeah, we, we, we just got to run the football. Got to run the football, got to stop Got to stop them from running the football. I think, I'm not going to say this is a winnable game, but if we can stay within one score, seven points, three points, if we can stay around that and going into the fourth quarter, then we can make something happen. We can make something. We got to get this run game going. We cannot be one dimensional though. We have to get this run game going. We got to help Alex Smith. Alex Smith, you know, his better games are when he throws for 170 something yards and it's ugly. We got to win this game ugly. We got to win it. It's got to be like a 20 to 17 win, 24 to 16 win. It cannot be no, it cannot be a 31. It cannot be a 31 20 shootout type of win. It's got to be an ugly win. It's got to be an ugly win. I will look up the weather. For Monday, I'll look it up real quick because I think it's supposed to be, of course, really cold in Pittsburgh. I know it's been snowing out there. Um, so Monday's going to be 39 degrees or something like that. So it's going to be very cold. So we got to – they've been having problems with drops. So be be aware with, with the Steelers, the wide receivers, and them dropping passes. They have been dropping passes lately. But I, I think this – for sure, this is a wonderful game. Got to respect Mike Tomlin. He's a heck of a coach. I remember Dan Snyder really, really wanted him to come here. Uh, there was rumors about him sending a jet – out to bring Mike Tomlin here so we could hire him right after we fired Jay Gruden or like a trade for Mike Tomlin. I remember those rumors that came out. But um, yeah, I mean, this is this this could be a trap game. I'm not going to sit up here and say it's a winnable game, but this could be a trap. I know a lot of Washington fans are confident in this game because the Steelers have had a short week. You know, they played on Wednesday and they had to come back and play on Monday. That's a very small turnaround time. And I know Ben Ben Roethlisberger has not practiced this week with a knee injury or something like that. So who knows? He could be he could be off. He could be off. So th this is a game where we could sneak up on him. I'm not gonna lie. This is a game where we could sneak. I don't I don't I don't have this for my final prediction though. Uh, my final prediction. I don't I don't I don't I don't have this win in this game. I don't I don't have this win. But like I said, in the, uh, the past few games, I said we're gonna lose. And we end up winning. So it's good luck. I'm not going to say we're going to win another game because every time I say we're going to win, we end up losing, except for the Eagles game. So uh, I, got us, I got us losing this one 24 to 16 or 24 to 20. I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a close game. Um, it's just going to come down to Big Ben, and he's just a veteran quarterback that uh, is a future Hall of Famer. He makes big plays. He makes big throws, you know, and he's going to, you know, he might find Juju Smith-Schuster, and he might find Chase Claypool or somebody like that, and that's, that's probably how the game might end up with a big play by one of those guys, Chase Claypool. So um, you guys let me know what you guys think. I got us losing this one 24 to, I'm going to say 24 to 19. Uh, I'm going to say 24 to 19. We lose this one. So uh, Gibson, we got to we gotta get the ball. We got to get the ball to Gibson if we want to win this game. That's our identity is running the football and defense. Pass rush and Alex Smith not turning on the football. That's our identity. That's what our identity was in 2018. We were in 6-3. and three. So that's what we are right now. We're a running football team with tough, hard-nosed defense. And that's, what, that's the way we got to keep it. So that's the way we got to do it to win football games. All right, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. See you guys on Monday after the game around 830. Hail to the football team. Peace.